hands up and no one else is. is. So, Nick, if you want to kick us off. Hands up, everyone. Uh, Jürgen, you said before the match that you would not treat this as a friendly, just a pre-season warm-up. How significant do you think the result is in Arsenal winning this trophy? How significant what? How significant was the result in Arsenal winning the trophy, even though some people would say it's more of a pre-season warm-up match? I cannot answer the question for Arsenal, to be honest. I hope you ask me to take that. Then. So um, we were here to, to win the, the game. I hope um, that was obvious. Um, and we, we didn't win the game. We lost, didn't lose the game, but we lost the competition, obviously, um, because of penalty shoot and um, because we um, conceded a goal from Aubameyang. Didn't, Aubameyang didn't use our chances, and that's then your game is open, scored late which is not a problem but could have scored earlier and uh, that would have helped and um yeah had the game then in the right direction i would say but then um the time was um not enough and um so that that's how it is so but what it means for us and i have no idea so w were you overall pleased with what you saw from your players or how do you feel with parts with parts of the game i was i was obviously pleased um because um, i know in which situation we are what we did in training and all the stuff what i expected today uh, from a physical point of view, from a tactical point of view, and for the, the game we had to play today here against a de de defensive block, the 5-4-1, um, you need to have 100% fresh legs. You need, you need, your decision making needs to be um, uh, on top. And um, so that was not, we had not the freshest legs, but it was fresher than three, four days ago. And that's all normal. Um, so we have another two weeks to prepare. The, 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 the next season. Um, but when you then concede the goal we conceded, uh, then, of course, that, that doesn't help at all. And so we had um, to yeah, get control back of the game, I would say. We had that in the second half um, with a constant threat, obviously, with the counterattacks um, and all these things. And um, Arsenal had a good, good build-up. They didn't really create chances with that. So at any, at any point on the, in the, on the pitch, we won the ball then. But it, we had to work hard for that, and that's how it is. And then, um, But we had our two, three big moments which we didn't finish off that what then that's besides games we know that and um so that's the reason for the result yes thanks for your time thank you nick thank you um, anyone else with a question a short press conference if people haven't got anything to ask thank you <laughs> okay now oh, there we go paul jason paul yeah again um could I ask you about the, the five substitutes rule uh, that's going to be debated next week? Are, are you in favour of that? Yes. What, I know it, and, it's, the, discussion, the discussion will then go again if it's an advantage for, yeah. for the bigger clubs. Um, look, I can I don't discuss it from that point of view. I don't I don't want to have an advantage in the in the in the competition or whatever. It's about it will be the uh, uh, we have thirty eight Premier League games in in a four week shorter season that says it all and um, all the other competitions will be pretty much the same as far as i know and um, that means just that you that these these things would help but i can imagine that for uh, that other teams see it differently so um, but it's never because having an advantage i saw it last year as well in the last when we played the last nine game last nine games of the season i thought oh good city brings five players <laughs> Boom. not yeah. bad but it's um it's all it's all about uh how can we how can we get through this season and not how uh, who gets a little advantage here a little advantage there it's really how can we get through the season i think for getting in a good way through the season for the sake of of um, the, the football players and the performance levels i think it would make sense but i don't make the decision okay we've got don king followed by john cross and matt dunn so don king first possible yeah, yeah, again, um, just wanted to talk to you about um, Taki and the goal that he, he scored. Um, there can be, players can have sort of turning points and, and lift off from, from big moments like that. How sort of big a day do you think that is for him? Oh, it was, it was big for him and big for us because um, that was the only thing but what he liked and now since he's with us that he didn't that he didn't score a goal he had a situation that was close and in plenty of moments um that helps of course but um the shape he's in is, is obviously good and i think that could everybody see when he came on um he um so but then the the, the goal is more more or less the logical um 
um, step after after performing on level he performs now since um, especially in the preseason. So I am very pleased for him. Yeah, it was was very important for us to 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 stay in the game and um, for him just to make this first important step. Thank you, John Cross, and then we'll finish with Matt Don. If there's no further ones, John. Hi, Jürgen. Thanks, thanks for doing this. Uh, I, I just, um, just filling on, on from Milamino. I mean, sometimes it takes a, it takes a while, doesn't it, for a player to become adjusted to English football. There's so much talk about kind of the, the clamour for signings, but you know, can he come in and and, and really um, be like that 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 new signing and maybe make the bigger impact now that he's sort of acclimatised to English football and, and indeed Liverpool, your team? Yes, he can have an impact. That's why we signed him. That's uh, easier said. I don't want to put down after one or two really good performances in the preseason. Um, um, massive pressure on this world that has absolutely no need for. Um, we have a good football team. It's difficult to come in that team anyway. Um, but he is a player we, we, which is really useful for us. Let me say it like this. Um, it was not only the goal today. He's in between. He's in close in small spaces. Really good. His first touch is exceptional. Um, he's then in, these, in this decision making between the lines really quick. Um, um, and that, that helps as well. So yes, he can he can be a real player for us. That that was always clear. Um, he came in in the most difficult period of all our lives. I would say he had to adapt uh, to different things. Being alone in England in the in the lockdown and all that stuff. That's all not um, something. It's all nice. And uh, so, but he deals really well with it because he's a super professional. And so I'm I'm really pleased for him that he could score a goal today. And that's another big step for him. Thank you. Thank you, John. And I think Matt Dunn will be our last question, unless there's anyone else who um, uh, intimates before we finish. Matt, over to you. Hi, hi, Jürgen. Um, yeah, you made a big call with Brewster on the penalties. Um, have you had a chance to speak to him about how that went? And in a weird way, can that be a positive for him in the long term of his career and something he can learn from? Thank you, Matt. Uh, yeah, he can, uh, we all we, we constantly have to learn and then to prove then again that we can deal with defeats. We, we lost today as a team, the competition, and, and Rian is a part of that. So if he would have if he would have scored with a penalty and somebody else uh, would have missed it, that would have been the same feeling pretty much. I get it. I get it. It's different than you are the one. I was in a situation myself as a player. Obviously, that's not nice. But there are bigger catastrophes than that. It's just part of the deal. Um, I think with uh, with his technique, shooting, finishing technique. Um, I don't think ever in his life there will be a goalie in, in, in touch with the ball around a penalty, but missing it like this is possible because he takes full risk. Um, I didn't see him ever finish uh, missing a penalty since uh, since we worked together. Um, today it happened. That can happen. That's how it is. And um, yeah, dealing with with um, with um, defeats is in football a very very important lesson always. And we are all not perfect in it, but this will not harm him because we will not let it happen. And if somebody who is to blame for that. It's me because I made that decision. It was obvious we do it for the penalty to Shane Van Aldemov, and we did it for the penalty shoot. But I wanted him in that in a in a position because I knew he's a, or no, he's a natural, confident boy. He's, he's, he's a real finisher. His penalties are really good usually, and today, not. So that's uh, that happens in in football and in life. Um, no problem. So just just to follow up, you said it happened to you. Does that mean that you'll talk to him or you can use your own experiences? To perhaps deal with it, I don't. I I, I rarely sh- uh, join uh, or share my football experiences with the boys because uh, it's too long ago and everything. But he, I'm not the only one who missed a penalty in my life uh, in the team. So the boys pick him up. It's not uh, about me that I make it bigger than it is. It's uh, he missed a penalty. We had a few words directly when when he left the pitch. That's all fine. Uh, nothing to apologize for or whatever. That's football. No problem. We should if we would have won. The, but wanted to win the game, then we should have scored during the 92 minutes. Uh, we didn't do that often enough, and that's why we it came to uh, it came to um, penalty shoot, and it's a lottery. We know that. It's not about who is the best, who is that, who is that. It's just you you have to score, and we did that four times really well. And this penalty was not the worst I ever saw. It was just a little bit too high. It was absolutely no chance for the goalie, just too high, and that's why we um, why it happened how it happened. And what was the occasion when you missed, Jürgen? Sorry. Sorry. What was the occasion when you missed? It's too long ago. I don't know anymore. But it was for sure in a, in a cup game. Whenever. Don't know. It's really too long ago. Sorry. We like still remember. We'd like to help you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, guys. Thanks again, Tom. Bye bye. Good. Thank you. Bye bye.